but we like 3D energy a little bit and Home Chef. I don't think I've completely lost my mind, but we had to stock up, you know? I bought all of these from GNC. These are all of their flavors. The only one I have not had, actually two, I have not had the green or the red, white, and blue. So I think I'm gonna try, I don't know. This one looks really good. I think I'm gonna try this one right now to sit down and film. 3D Energy, I believe. Christian Guzman, I'm pretty sure he still owns it, but he's the one who started it. So I just really, really like them. It's a nice little switch up from your typical monster. I love energy drinks. You guys know that. Uh, I don't know. I drink one a shift. Love them. Probably gonna have to put this on ice though. Okay, me putting together a ring light is actual pure comedy because this isn't working out like I thought it was gonna work out. <laughs> it sounds, it's just, it sounds easy, but I don't know. This is the part I'm on and it doesn't really, they don't really line up. Display, can I like help you? Um, he's so nosy. Let's see. Near. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can finish it. Come here, Kaizy. I am going to take you guys through my little skincare routine slash just do, I don't even really know what I'm doing in my face today, but I wanted to share my favorite skincare products and kind of talk about my Tula stuff because I've had a lot of questions and kind of give you guys an update on COVID. You guys have asked a lot what it's like being a nurse and I've kind of been down keeping it DL because it's just been a lot. Um, a lot's happened, a lot's changed, but that's not going to change anytime soon. It's going to keep happening. So I thought I would sit down and just talk with you guys, kind of a get ready with me, but skincare edition slash makeup, maybe, I don't know. But I actually just got this ring light, which my camera is sitting on. Hopefully I show that in this video, but I am a complete beginner when it comes to lighting and stuff like this. I have two lights, but they're kind of trashy. They, I've had them forever and I wanted a ring light that I could actually set my camera or my phone in so that the lighting was better, right, Kaiser? And so I, I bought this and it has the white ones and then it has, I think this is a color filter. I don't know. I need to educate myself, but I don't even, I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. Do you want to be in the video? Hey, sweet boy. Hey, sweet boy. He's extra needy these days. All right, so I thought I would show you guys my little desk setup. Currently, I have that on because I was getting ready to show you, but I just got this organizer off of Amazon, and I can't decide. I think I'm going to order another one because I want one for my bathroom and one for in here because this is perfect for all my makeup stuff. It holds all of this stuff up here, all my Tula products that I use in my makeup room versus the ones that I use in my bathroom. So I think I'm going to get another one, but... I'm going to talk through my Tula products for you guys really, really fast and show you what I do. And then I will show you guys my little makeup look that I've been doing for work. So when I first started trying Tula, I originally just used their Cult Classic uh, Purifying Face Cleanser. This is the face wash that is just basic. Very, very basic, all skin types. Really, 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 really nice face cleanser. I like it a lot and I have sensitive to oily combo skin. Sometimes my skin's dry. Sometimes it's oily depending upon the season, but yeah. This is the most basic one, so if you're looking to try one of the Tula cleansers, I would recommend starting out with this one. And I'll tell you guys, I'll insert a little picture over here of what the kit looks like to start, and that's what I used, and I ended up falling in love with this. This one is the foam cleanser. This is the one that I have been using the most. I'll show you guys what it looks like on my hand here, if it will focus. This is what the foam looks like. Very, very, very foamy. I absolutely love this on my face. It's the absolute best when you get home from work. Anyway, so I use this on my face and that is the acne wash that I use. This is the first step of my facial routine. I typically do this two times a day. Normally what I'll do is I'll do this before I'm going to work or whenever I'm waking up and I'm showering and then whenever I get off of work and I'm in the shower, this is what I use to wash my face after work because my face is normally greasy and I've probably touched it with my nasty hospital hands. So this is the cleanser that I go to. All right, so then the second part of my skincare routine, the toner. This actually is just the toner that goes with the Cult Classic. I'm currently out of the one that is a part of the acne line, but I will insert a picture here of what it actually looks like. And I just ordered a new one. So I'll show you guys that when I get it, but I've talked about it many times on Instagram. This is just as good as the other one. I just prefer the other one because it's more targeted at acne and treating it. So that's why I 
like that one, but this one works for now. So I'll do my face wash in the shower. I'll get out, take a little puffy puff, and I will put the toner on my skin. Third part of the skincare system is the Go Away Spot Treatment. So this is the one that is currently empty. I'm actually going to open this brand new one for you guys. So this is what I put on any part of my face that is problematic. I like to put this on my chin almost every single day if I don't have a zit specifically, but I'll put this on my chin because that's normally where I get a lot of my breakouts. And then I like to put it on right between my T-zone on my forehead. That's another place where I get a lot of breakouts. So that is the three-part system. Sorry, I don't have the toner with me, but that is what I use on my face for skincare. Recommended something to you to try. I would tell you to get the four step and try it out, start out with the Cult Classic, this toner, and the regular moisturizer because it's absolutely incredible. I just showed you guys what my current use is. I'm going to use this here in a second, but they do have other moisturizers. I really, really like their Dewy Free, the one that I've been using recently. So I'll do that step treatment. And then they have this new moisturizer that came out. This is the Breakout Star and this is the oil-free moisturizer that is targeted for acne as well. This has salicylic acid in it. I think it's 2%. Yeah, 2%. So I've been trying this out and I really do enjoy it, but if I had a holy grail cleanser from them, I would tell you it is this one right here. This is their basic basic, basic uh, moisturizer. It's 24-7 moisturizer, day and night cream. Totally worth it. I'll just show you guys the texture here if I can pull this off. One-handed queen. So I am a little bit almost halfway through. Oh my God, I'm almost out. What the heck? So this is my container. Absolutely love this stuff. I do use this probably three times a day actually because I am a moisturizing freak and my skin's actually dry right now. So this would be the moisturizer I would tell you to try, which does come as a part of the uh, four step system. That's what I use. And then I do have other Tula products on here and I can talk more about those, but those are my favorite skincare products right now. First things first. My eyelashes are looking horrible. My eyebrows need to be waxed, and I do trim my eyebrows myself, but I just have loved how my girl Becca has done them, so I'm just being a brat. But I do, I can't do my eyebrows for everybody who's gonna come at me for that. But it's okay, we're all looking like this, uh, quarantine or not, I'm here I am, and this is what I look like. So since this has all happened at work, we do have to wear ninja face shield masks, which is great and not great at the same time. Basically, every day I go to work, I have a uh, mark on my forehead from this shield. It's, I'm not, I can't show pictures of it, but I'm just telling you, it's a face shield that comes over here. So yes, stuff can come up in, but it is nice to be protected in case somebody hacks in your face because my patients like to do that to me when I am listening to their heart and they cough right in my face. So it's been kind of nice. It makes me feel a little bit better, but that's just our base, like we have to have that on all the time. So I have not been wearing a full face of makeup for work, okay? That's just not on my priority list. So what I have been doing is this little simple thing. I have my eyelashes that are gonna come out, but as soon as those are done, I'm done. I'm not, wait, I'll wait till I'm able to go back. But anyways, clean hands. Make sure your hands are clean before you touch your face. Don't touch your face without washing your hands. <laughs> The very first thing that I'm going to do is use my moisturizer that I just told you guys about. This is the Breakout Star one from Tula. This is what I have been using and I really, really like it. It's got kind of a gel-like consistency to it. So I've just been putting that everywhere to start out, make sure my face is moisturized. It's actually really nice outside today. It's kind of sunny, but it's cold out. Why is there hair in my face? Why does my face look so red? It's a love-hate because when the sun's shining it's nice but when you actually go out there there's a breeze and I hate being cold. <laughs> First up, after I have put on my moisturizer I'm actually going to use the Rose Glow and Get Cooling and Brightening Balm. For some reason, that's my dog. For some reason, I can't find my blue one. I really wish I could because I love my blue one, but the rose one is absolutely phenomenal. It gives me the coolest glow ever. I took a Instagram boomerang the other night before work and I was like, dang girl, look at that glow. So I go right underneath my eye, kind of targeting up towards my temples here. And once I have that on, all I do is just kind of pat it in, just so I have a little bit of glow to my skin. The reason I'm not doing very much makeup is because if I have to wear a face shield and it's making my face sweat my entire shift, or a mask if we get to that point, or if I have an airborne room, whatever it is, 
the makeup has just been sweating off so I've just kind of given up and this is what I'm using for now hopefully we can go back to normal at some point but I don't see that occurring anytime soon so this is where I'm at once I have put on the glow stick I go ahead and put on my this is okay so this is actually the primer that I use under my makeup and I've shown this several times but this actually does blur a little bit of your imperfections. So if you look up close on my skin, I do have some redness here. My acne is pretty under control at the moment, but there are different spots. If I back up a little bit, uh, there are different spots on my face. So this basically just kind of blurs it all out and I wear it by itself. Let's see if I can get the last little bit of it here. So I just put a little bit. It's got kind of more of a liquid texture to it. So just be careful when you are putting it on your face. But that is pretty much my little go to work look really just moisturizers and a primer that kind of blurs out stuff i wish i could show you guys what it looks i should have done a before and after you can probably maybe tell from this video it's not super evident but it is to me i feel like it blurs out my skin a little bit and evens my skin tone out a little more and i just feel better having something on my face versus nothing if you were wanting to put something on your face and you didn't want to do foundation which foundation just honestly sweats off for me or if you're not somebody whose face sweats when you wear a mask maybe you're different but if you are looking for one i did try out the it cosmetic cc cream and i have yet to review it but i did like it this is the matte version right here and i liked this better than the original i didn't love the original one because i felt like it kind of blotched on my skin but because this is matte i felt like it looked better on my skin so this is another option and i have used this a couple times for work but not with the mask situation that we're in now but it's an oil-free matte cc cream and i did really enjoy this and it does have 40 spf in it too which is great that's awesome the more that i'm looking at myself in this mirror over here i'm curious as to why i didn't think that plucking my eyebrows before filming was a good plan but here i am you guys get the real the real haul doll face this is what it is right here all in all since we're talking about skincare stuff i'm just gonna show you guys a couple more things that i love that i actually kind of like i have a fail product in here i don't know if it's a fail actually i really only used it once but i ordered these off of amazon this miracle patch you're supposed to put it on your zit and it's supposed to cover it up and it's transparent it protects it from dirt draws out fluids and provides waterproof barrier i didn't feel like it was natural but I'll show you guys what it looks like. I need to give it more of a try. Comment below if you have used these. But this is what it looks like. Wait, are they in there? Yeah, you can kind of see them. So I don't know if you can see them. They're obviously transparent. But you're supposed to, these are the directions right here. And you're supposed to put it on your zit and let it hang out. I don't know. I didn't feel like it worked for me. But maybe I'm not doing it correctly. Another skincare thing that I have just bought, this isn't really skincare, but I saw, I've seen these all over Instagram, not really YouTube, but these sponges by Beaky, B-E-A-K-E-Y, and it was eight bucks for five of these. So I do have one in my little holder here, and I am going to try it out if I decide, I'll probably do makeup tomorrow and try it out, but it's a little beauty blender and I have loved the big thick one forever this one's from real techniques so I have that one but I'm like let's just give this a go and see how it works it's only eight bucks for five heck yeah let's do it so I'll let y'all know how I feel about that but yeah I have those in there those are my skincare faves I hope you guys enjoyed me sorting through those just an FYI all of Tula's products are made with probiotics and superfoods I don't know if you guys could tell when I was sorting through them but they all have different uh, oh, actually, it's right on the front there. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. But they all have different definitions on the back that shows you what's in them and what their purpose is. Cruelty-free, never tested on animals. I talk about a lot of these. Like, I didn't show all of them, but I do talk about a lot of these on Instagram on a daily basis. So if you ever have any questions on them, please let me know. And I do have a discount code. I will throw it right here for you guys. It saves 15% and actually sincerely makes the prices really affordable, in my opinion, for the quality of the products. I have had lots of questions if I have been working. I know I haven't really been talking much about work and that's simply because it's been a lot. And I'm sure if you're a healthcare professional, if you work in the healthcare field or you know, you're an essential worker, you can agree that it's just been really, really crazy. I mean, it's always changing. There's something new going on and I have been doing my best to kind of keep up with that. It has just been a super crazy couple of weeks. I've been trying to understand and navigate what's going to happen, uh, what we've been preparing for, what we're anticipating, the new load at the hospital. So I have had to follow their guidelines in terms of quarantine, 
uh, managing your own symptoms if you have any watching for symptoms you know we're supposed to be like watching every single day because the reality of it as being a nurse is you don't know at this point because COVID is going around everywhere so here we are and the patients I have my population is one of the vulnerable ones I mean I have people come in with pneumonia, heart problems, liver patients, kidney patients. So these people already have these comorbidities. So it's very, very frightening to the fact that if they're having a cough, if they're having fever, shortness of breath, and honestly, symptoms vary as you can probably tell and have heard that, you know, symptoms are all over the board. So we just are basically walking into the unknown every single day. What I've learned and been educated on is with COVID patients, basically what can happen is it can literally range from any age. I mean, nobody is exempt from this and that's also something that I've basically been kind of trying to process is the fact that if I were to get COVID, I could end up on a ventilator, you know? And I think that that's the hard reality that has taken me a little bit of time to understand and really educate myself on is the fact that this is very serious. This is a pandemic. This is not discriminating anybody or anything and the importance of what we need to do to beat this. The little things like washing your hands, not touching your face, staying home when you can, that kind of thing is all very relevant to me now and understand. And I'd be lying to you if I said that I wasn't in denial because I was. I did not really, when this started, like in February, I feel like I work in infectious disease. I mean, we get notifications about all this stuff and I think that all of us just kind of were at a point where we didn't really think it was that serious and then it became more serious and as it become more, became more serious, here we are preparing. I mean, we are preparing for the absolute worst but obviously we're praying for the best and that's honestly where I'm at. Uh, in terms of how I'm dealing with it emotionally, I feel, I, I feel like if I'm going to get it, it's going to happen and I'm going to deal with that when that happens, but I put my life out there to help other people and that's what I'm going to be, I mean that's what I, I say that's what I signed up for, but it's also not like I didn't sign up to, you know, potentially put myself in a dangerous situation if that were to come and I didn't have the proper protective equipment, that's not what I signed up for. So I guess that that's one of those things that you worry about as a nurse that that's going to happen to you, you know. I'll be 24 years old in two weeks. I've, that's, I've been working for a year, I haven't worked very long, but I feel like there's a lot of hate and anger on the internet and it's just very, very hard because healthcare professionals are exposed all the time. I mean, we walk into work not knowing what we're walking into, especially my friend Anissa works in the emergency department and the fear she has is substantial. I mean, you don't know what you're going to come into contact with. Before coronavirus itself, you never know what you're going to come into contact with. So now that this is such a massive, massive deal, it's a little bit scarier because, you know, now we're constantly on our toes. Here is my message of encouragement to all of my nurses who are working the front lines, all of my healthcare employees, RTs, PTs, doctors, nurses. Um, I can't name everybody and I know I'm going to miss people, but sincerely, you are not alone. We are all fighting this together and I understand that it is there is fear. It's not easy to walk fearlessly into the hospital every day anymore. There is fear because there are people dying. This is real. There are people having to make decisions on their own. There's people having to miss funerals and not be able to see their families. And my grandma, like, I don't even want to get emotional about this, but I'm tired of people pointing fingers and blaming each other and hating on each other for things that they're doing. Yes, the goal is to flatten the curve. I would like to see more people just spreading kindness and encouragement and you know helping each other rise up because this isn't the time to put people down and blame other people it's to stand together and to be one encourage each other spread kindness the people online doing online workouts the people talking to each other and being positive and spreading love and all the healthcare professionals around the United States and all over the world collaborating and talking and relating to be a light be one of those people and i know that we all need to spread awareness about this and how severe and serious it is because it is but on top of that be the kind person you know talk about it in a way that is uplifting people and not scaring people and making people fearful i know that this is very serious but fear and anxiety isn't going to make people feel better. Me being somebody who does struggle with anxiety, I know this is hard. I know sitting at home can be difficult. It actually, if I was able to sit at home and work, I would 
probably be content to an extent because I'm an introvert but at the same time it gets to a point where you're like I need to go outside and you know go to the store and walk around Target for no reason and if we continue to do our part and we continue to stand together it's going to get to that point and I don't think that this is going to get better very quickly. I feel like it's going to take some time to work its way through the system and that's just a reality and how this works as an illness. You know, you can't sugarcoat that. Oh my God, what was that voice? You can't sugarcoat that. But truthfully, it's going to work its way through. You know, I, I don't like coming on my Instagram story and acting like I'm a hero because there are so many people out there that are on the front lines that aren't recognized. And I think it's different and kind of under, like took me some time to really sit and understand what's going on because I don't feel like we've ever gotten attention like we are now. Um, obviously healthcare workers have always been appreciated but like this is a different type of level that I've personally never experienced is you know people just thanking me for doing my job and it's like truthfully that's what I'm doing is I'm doing my job I'm going to work and doing what I've been doing and what I studied to do it's amazing and incredible but it's just took it taken me some time to really understand the severity and where we're at so yes I'm fearful yes I'm still gonna go in with a positive attitude as much as I possibly can yes it's hard yes the days are getting longer yes it's a little bit scarier and yes it's a lot of extra work but I'm here I'm showing up and that's what I'm gonna do just know that if you are in the position I am if you're a nurse working and you're somebody who has to leave your family if you're somebody who can't see your family you're not alone I promise you you're not alone we're all in this together and that's just the way that I've looked at it and how I'm going to continue to look at it is I'm not alone even though it may feel like that, I'm not and I know that and I know things are going to get better because that's the way that I choose to live my life is I choose to see the light in the situation and the fact that bad, bad times don't last forever and it's going to get better. And if you come at me because you're saying, well, that's just, you're in denial. I'm not in denial. I completely realize where we're at. It's affecting me personally. It's affected people in my life. And I'm going to continue to stay optimistic and positive and do my part and show up to my job and care for people and care for those who are sick. I think that I receive probably upwards of 10 emails a day from my job uh, talking about the constant changing of what's happening. And that's a reality it is always changing. I mean, it literally changes day to day and being on the front lines, they have to notify us about stuff, you know, about what's in our state, what's going on, what the regulations are, what the policies are, what we're supposed to do, how we're getting regulated into work. I have to go into work and get my temperature taken now. Um, we have to basically go through a screening process to even walk through the door. Visitors are restricted at the hospitals. It's a different freaking time. It's very eerie is my word that I've described it. It's eerie to me just how weird things are. As far as what I do post shift, I wear my scrubs to work clean. Um, my shoes go into a bag. They never get into my car. I never step foot into my car with my shoes or my house and my scrubs come off at the garage door. So I will completely strip naked and go shower immediately. I don't touch anything. I don't do anything until I have showered and the clothes go straight into the washer and they get washed and disinfected and go about my daily life. <laughs> All right, so sorry I talk with my hands. I'm sorry this video is kind of jumbled. It's just difficult to put words together to describe the situation and I think that that's understandable, but I am here. I'm here for you. If you're struggling, I am here for you. My inbox is always open. I do get a lot of DMs a day. I get emails a day, but I am here for you and just know you're not alone. As for moving forward, I am going to let you guys know I I got some nasty comments, just people saying, I can't believe you're not talking about this. I can't believe you're not spreading awareness. And it's like, I have been, but I'm also not going to spend every single day, you know, just blasting everybody with COVID information because that's not that's not who I am. And if that's what you're looking for, then you might want to go to a different YouTube channel or a different Instagram because I want to do what I normally do. I want to spread positivity and happiness and my bubbly vibes because that's who I am. I don't want to sit and talk about it every day because I have to go work and experience it for 13 plus hours. I don't want to continue to talk about it all the time outside of work. I am happy to spread awareness about it and we'll talk about things when it's necessary, but if you're expecting me to talk about it every single day, you're not going to find that here. So I want to move forward and keep working through this. That's what I'm going to do, you know, show up, get the job done and keep moving forward. And that's all we can honestly do is take it day by day. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope something was helpful. And if you guys have any questions about anything at all, make sure you leave it in the comments box below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.